Next, I made an Indonesian dish called Perkadel Kentang. So I began by sauteing whole shallot and garlic that I then crushed in a mortar and pestle. Many recipes that I saw fried the potatoes before mashing, but I boiled them as Davina does in her recipe. And to those, I added the shallot and garlic, as well as a particular type of celery and green onion, curry powder, and the binding ingredients, egg and tapioca flour. You use two forks to create a rough shape rather than the sort of smooth ball shape that you would get if you were forming them by hand, which appealed to me a lot. My first couple also did not hold together very well, which I just chalk up to the proportion of potato and the starch content of what I had, but I adjusted the amount of flour used and they turned out great. These were really good. 